Hey everyone, Joe Youngblood here from PAWrestling.com and I'm here tonight to preview the Central District 1 AAA Central Tournament hosted at Oxford High School which will feature the Chessmont squaring off against the Suburban 1 American Conference. I'm going to profile each weight class, give you the top six, and start from the quarters, I'm not going to really talk about the pigtails too much. Uh, give you a little insight about maybe what to expect. Again, this is just my opinion, not the opinion of everyone at the website. It's done for entertainment, spark a little conversation and uh, maybe controversy on the message boards. Not that there's any any of that ever there. And, uh, you know, again, just all in good fun. Uh, I'm lucky enough that Mike Leister has allowed me, me to use uh, the website as a platform for this. And, again, it's one of our new features of the website with the, along with the Match of the Week videos. So, you know, we're happy to bring it to you. And, uh, you know, we'll start off here at 106 pounds. Uh, each bracket was seated based on the three winners or two winners and, and the, the runner-ups. Um, or and then or the two winners in this conference and then the uh, everyone else just fell into place after that. So I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, who was the one seed? Why? And then you know, uh, after talking through the winners bracket, talk about the consolation bracket, and then uh, you know the, we'll finish it up. Uh, also at the end, I will be picking the who I feel will win the central. And again, you know. Um, We'll also be profiling the East and the West tournaments as well. So it's the first of, of three. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, feedback is welcomed on the forum and, uh, and encouraged. Hope it sparks some, uh, some conversation about the predictions that are already up on, along with the predictions already up on the, on the website. So with that said, 106 pounds, you have the Chessmont champion, Doug Zaff from Downtown West, comes in as the one seed. The two seed is... Uh, Marco Di Battista from Plymouth White Marsh, sophomore with a record of 25 1 1 on this season. His only loss coming when he bumped up to 113 and wrestled Antonio Martaccio in a dual meet when they wrestled Pensbury. So, real tough freshman or sophomore. And, uh, you know, he, you know, he uh, beat Justin Altrog from Norristown in the Suburban 1 American final last week. Doug Zaff beat Lucas Ritchie in the Chessmont Championships. The, the, uh, last week as well. Uh, starting off the quarters, Doug Zaff will, I had Doug Zaff beaten Mary Nichols from Kennett, uh, who won her pigtail. Um, Justin Altrog beating Seth Hoops from Octorera. Lucas Ritchie beating Luke Fair from Westchester Henderson. And Marco Di Battista beating Garrett Rogers from Unionville. Fast forward to the semis, we have a great semifinal matchups here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, this is one of the better uh, matchup of semis in all of District 1 for uh, as far as all three tournaments go. Later on, you know, in one of the other previews, you'll see me talk about 145 pounds in the East with the talent that's there. This is pretty good semifinals here. Uh, here's how I see it I see Altrog beating Zap. Um, Altrog's a big physical six pounder. I think he's just going to be a little bit too much for Zap to handle. And in the other semifinal, uh, Lucas Ritchie, who up until losing to Zap had been wrestling extremely well, beating uh, Marco Di Battista. Again, this is just my opinion. Not mean to raise any eyebrows and, or, or hurt anyone's feelings. It's just, uh, just what my opinion is. And in the final, Justin Altrock beating uh, Lucas Ritchie for the uh, central title at 106 pounds. Down in the, in the consolation bracket, Zaff will drop down to the top half of the consolation bracket from in the cross bracket, and where he'll hit Seth Hoops, and he'll uh, he'll advance into the consolation final, and Di Batista will drop down and wrestle Garrett Rogers from Unionville, also advance in that third and fourth place match, where Di Batista will beat Doug Zaff. So first through sixth at 106 pounds as I see it, Justin Altrog from Norristown, Lucas Ritchie from Downingtown East, Marco Di Battista from Plymouth White Marsh, and Doug Zapp, Doug Zapp from Downingtown West, Seth Hoops from Octorera, and Garrett Rogers from Unionville. There's your one through six, 106 pounds. Moving on to 113 pounds. 
Jacob Reed, chess Mon champion, is the one seed. Uh, he's a junior with a record of 29 and 4. The two seed is Jason Amy from Upper Moreland, a junior with a record of 25 and 4. Amy is opposite James Stromer, who was the runner up to Jacob Reed this past week at the chess months. And Ruben Grant is opposite Jacob Reed, who was runner up to uh, Jason Amy, as I talked about earlier. Uh, J Ruben, Grant Ruben is a junior from Norristown with a record 21 and 11. Stromer is a senior from Downingtown East with a record of 30 and 8. Uh, fast forwarding to the quarterfinals, Jacob Reed against Nate Gather call from Coatesville. Jacob Reed winning. Um, Grant Rubin wrestling Logan Regal from Kennett. And I have Regal beating Grant Rubin in that quarterfinal match. Somewhat of an upset. Um, you know, there's just some weight classes where, you know, Chessmon just is just a deeper, deeper conference. And I mean, it's deeper because there's significantly more teams, but deeper not just because of more teams, but just more talent. This is one of those cases. Regal was the third place finisher at the Chessmon Championships. And I just think he's going to he's gonna beat Ruben. Uh, James Stromer wrestling Adam Cooper from Westchester, Ruston, and uh, winning that match. And then Jason Amy beating Harry Marr from Oxford area. Uh, moving forward to the semifinals, Reed and Regal. Uh, Reed from Henderson with the winning and moving into the finals. And Stromer beating Jason Amy from Upper Moreland. Amy's tough, tough uh, wrestler. I just feel Stromer's been wrestling very well, aside from the loss last week in the Chessmont finals. And Stromer getting revenge on Reed from the week before and winning uh, the title at 113 pounds coming out of that uh, three seed place in the in the bracket. Um, moving forward to the constellation bracket, Jason Amy will, will drop down the top half of the constellation bracket on the cross bracket from losing in the semis and will most likely run into uh, Grant Rubin from Norristown and Jason Amy will, will win that just like he did this past week in the uh, Cotton Suburban One American Final. And Regal dropping down and running into Harry Marr from Oxford and winning that match to set up a Regal versus Amy match with Jason Amy winning, taking third, uh, Regal taking fourth. So first through sixth, James Stromer, Downtown East, Jacob Reed, Westchester Henderson, Jason Amy, Upper Moreland, and Logan Regal from Kennett. And fifth place, uh, Harry Marr from Oxford and Grant Rubin from Norristown coming in sixth. Going to 120 pounds. One seed returning state qualifier, Brett Callner, uh, coming off a weekend in which he won the chess months and was named the OW for his win over Jake Taylor in the final. Uh, two seeds, Matt Amy, Jason Amy's brother from Upper Moreland, senior, 27-2. Uh, Taylor is opposite him in that bottom half of the bracket as the runner-up in the chess spot. And Zach DeSanto from Upper Marion, a junior with a record of 18-11, and 11, is the you know in that, sitting in that four-seed uh, spot. <laughs> Moving into the quarters, Brett Callner will uh, move past Tommy Luke in the quarterfinals to get to the semis. Uh, Brandon Sheffield, a uh, freshman from Oxford, having a great season, under the radar, 31-4. and four. And, I mean, people talking about him. And uh, I'm picking him to upset Zach DeSanto from Upper Marion. Uh, you know, Upper, he's coming in as a, the second placer from the uh, Suburban One American. However, uh, I, I had Sheffield winning that, moving into the semis to face Callender. Uh Down the bottom half of the bracket, Jake Taylor beating Nick Seaman, a freshman from Norristown, record of 9, 1911. Uh, and then Matt Amy beating Ger uh, Gerhardt Ryder from Kennett. Set up your semis of Callender versus Sheffield and Taylor versus Amy. Got Brett Callender beating Sheffield, and I have Jake Taylor beating Jason, or I'm sorry, Matt Amy in the other semifinals to create a rematch of the Chessmont final. You know, all Chessmont final there, and then Brett Callender winning again and just wrestling extremely well. You know, uh, Jake Taylor's taking some losses as of late. Not saying he can't pull it off, and this is a match that's wrestled 10 times. It, it, it could go 5 5. So I'm not discounting Taylor. I just think Callender's the hotter wrestler right now, and I'm going to you know, ride the hot hand on this one. 
looking ahead at the, or looking down to the constellation bracket, Amy will drop down to the top half, using the bottom half of the championship bracket, and run into Tommy Luke from Westchester East. Uh, you know, he'll win that match to go into the Constellation Final. Sheffield will drop down to the bottom half of the bracket and run into Nick Seaman from Norristown and win that, setting up a, a Sheffield and Amy matchup and uh, give him the, the, the uh, nod to uh, Jason, I'm sorry, Matt Amy on that. You know, just a senior, 27-2, he's been there. And, you know, Sheffield, just, uh, just a freshman, a few years ahead of him still. And, uh, you know, just probably not you know, used to the pressure of this tournament. I'm going to say that Amy's been there before and he's, he's gone through the grind of the postseason in the high school uh, as a high school wrestler uh, more than once. So your top one through six at 120 pounds in the central, Counter from Westchester Rustin, Taylor from Unionville, Amy from Upper Moreland, and Sheffield from Oxford, Luke in fifth from Westchester East, and Seaman in sixth from Norristown. 126 features pound for pound, one of the top wrestlers in the region, also one of the top wrestlers in the state, Wade Cummings, fresh off dropping down to 126 pounds from where he wrestled 132 for the entire season. Uh, he's a pretty formidable 132 pounder, but he, you know, he's chasing Golden Hershey, and he, you know, him and his coaches feel that he is uh, best suited at 126 pounds. And you know, he ran through the Chessmont last week to take first. And I pretty, pretty much predict more, more of the same. Um, looking ahead, uh, or looking at the bracket, Wade Cummins is the one seed. Zach Fisher from Plymouth White Marsh, a champ in that, in that conference, the Suburban One American, or that part of that conference. Uh, sophomore, 17 and 10. Hankin is the three seed, senior from Westchester East, record of 30 and 3. The four seed is uh, the runner up from Suburban One American. And F. Talib Davis from Upper Dublin, he's a senior with a record of 24 and 6. So, moving into the bracket, looking into the quarters, Wade Cummings looks like he'll run into Joe Rennie from Downingtown West and get a win there. Uh, Talib Davis will see Drew Massetti from Canada Junior, 26 and 3 in the season. I'm picking Massetti for the upset here. And, you know, uh, I'm going to go to just uh, wrestle better competition, what it comes down to. I'm not sold on, on Davis, and then this weight class wasn't particularly strong for Suburban One American, so that's where I'm getting that pick from. And uh, so that was Seppo Cummings and Massetti, uh, semifinal top half of the bracket. Look in the bottom half of the championship bracket. Noah Hank, Hankin, we're into Rick Brez, uh, Bred, Bragg Ginzer from Norristown, and he'll get the win there. And then Tyler Callender will run to Zach Fisher from Plymouth White Marsh, sophomore, 17 and 10. Um, you know, again, I'm going to say I'm going to take Callender on this one over the sophomore from Plymouth White Marsh, Zach Fisher, uh, just because Ian Callender wrestled a way tougher schedule. Um, he has a great practice partner, his brother, who's basically written a blueprint for him as far as what he needs to do to be successful in the sport. Uh, so uh, I'm going to take Callender there to set up uh, an all Chessmont semifinal uh, with uh, Cummings versus Massetti. Cummings getting the win, getting to the final, and Hankin versus Callender, and Hankin getting the win, going to the final, pitting two seniors against each other. And you know, uh, Cummings. Uh, I'm not a betting man. If I was, my money, big money, would be on Cummings, and it, for good reason. He majored him 19 to six last week in the finals of the Chessmont. I expect to sit about the same. Uh, Again, from you know, winning by bonus points. So Cummins, your champ. If we look down at the consolation bracket, you have uh, Counter in the top half of the consolation bracket coming out of the uh, cross bracket and running into um, Joe Rennie from Downingtown West. Counter with the win over there puts him in the re uh, consolation final and makes him a regional qualifier. And uh, Drew Massetti coming down and hitting uh, Zach Fisher from Plymouth White Marsh and, and beating... Fisher to punch his ticket to regionals, and then you have a Massetti counter uh, matchup with Massetti getting the win. And again, the um, just the uh, the picks I have. So one through six is Cummings from Downtown East, Hankin from Westchester East, Massetti from Kennett, and Counter from Westchester Ruston. In uh, in fifth place, uh, Joe Renning Rennie from Downtown West, and sixth place. Adam or Zach Fisher from Plymouth White Marsh. So 
top five out of six there coming out of the chess mod. Just a stronger weight class right there for the chess mod. Uh, you know, Suburban One American just doesn't have the depth there that they do at other weights. And again, with as many the many more teams there are at, from uh, the chess mod, it, it's it's a numbers game. So moving into 132 pounds, Kyle Medro Sr. from Westchester Henderson with a record of 25 and 8 is the one seed here. The two seed is Eric Fuentes from Norristown, a junior with a record of 27 and 5. Mitch Camp is opposite Fuentes in that bracket. Tough uh, junior, tough senior from uh, Unionville with some big wins on the season. And opposite Medro is Anthony Shockey, a senior from Cheltenham with a record of 13 and 9. So we look at the quarterfinals, and we'll talk about how they, who gets where and how they get there. Uh, Kyle Medro with the win over Connor Burses from Dangtown East to advance into the semifinals. Uh, I have Ryan Della Compagni, a sophomore from Coatesville, uh, with the mild upset of Anthony Shockey from Cheltenham, who is the four seed, is the four seed based upon his finish from last. Saturday's Suburban One American Tournament, setting up a Medro della Campagni semifinal in the top half. Mitch Camp gets the semis after beating Jonathan Reardon from Westchester Ruston. And Eric Fuentes gets to the semis after beating Nick Lilly from Dangtown West. Looking at the semis, Medro beats della Campagni to reach the, the district final. And I have Mitch Camp beating Eric Fuentes of Norristown to reach the final as well. And this sets up a rematch between Medro and Camp. And I have Medro winning again, just as he did this past Saturday. Uh, let's look down at the constellation bracket. As you, you know, if you follow along or you're paying attention with your own brackets, Fuentes goes to the top. He'll run into Connor Burzis and, uh, you know, he'll, um, we'll get the win there and qualify for regionals as a junior. Del Campagni will run into Jonathan Reardon and I feel he'll get the win there to set up a Fuentes Del Campagni uh, third and fourth place match and I'll give the nod to Eric Fuentes over Del Campagni. He's you know, a little bit older, uh, you know, again, Northtown, not what they once were, but still a very good room, still very good coaching. You know, Harner and uh, his crew, they do a, uh, they still do a phenomenal job and they get the most out of their guys and Fuentes, uh, you know, uh, you might remember the name, younger brother of Zach Fuentes, so, uh, you know, he's got the uh, the bloodlines there too and, and he's, a, he's a pretty darn good wrestler to boot. Uh, so your top six here at 132 pounds, Medro from Westchester Anderson, Camp from Unionville, Fuentes from Norristown, Del Compagni from Coatesville. Burz is from Downingtown East in 5th, and Jonathan Reardon from Westchester Henderson in 6th. We move into 138 pound weight class. This one match that uh, at the finals I picked is one that I'd, I'd really anticipate seeing. I think it's definitely one of those matches that's uh, it's going to be pretty exciting if it does happen. I, you know, This is just my opinion, just my prediction, but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Uh, and I, I think it'll be a good one, but we'll talk about the whole bracket first and then we'll get to the, what I predict the final to be. <laughs> Nick Zimmerman, uh, champion of the chess mod, is the one seed here. He's a senior from Dangtown East, record 35 and 4. He's just been wrestling so great. Uh, he's winning a lot of big matches, wrestling with a lot of confidence, and, you know, I just uh, you know, haven't seen him in person three or four times wrestle this year. He's just got a great motor. He comes at you, and he, he stays in your face, and, you know, he, he has a great partner, great room. Uh, his partner, Wade Cummings, great coaches. So, again, can't, can't say enough. Uh, enough good things about the about the kid. Uh, the two seed Colin Devlin. One of and Colin Devlin's kind of like one of those guys that just he's under the radar. No one's really talking about him. All he's done is gone twenty seven one in the season. He's a returning state qualifier, and people overlooked that. You know, some people said it was a weak weight class, but it doesn't matter. He still made the states, and you know, he's got a, he's got a, a a good coach there at Upper Dublin. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure about his, his practice partner so much, but whatever they're doing, they're doing. It, it's working for him. So uh, he's very underrated, like I said. Like not a lot of people talk about him. I'm not, not saying don't give him credit. Just no one, no one even. He's never even in the conversation. So, um, you know, with that said, he's 
it's kind of probably a good role for him to be in because you know people might be almost looking past him. In that three seed, the runner-up in the Chessmont, which is Brent Windle from Coastville. He's a junior. He's got a record of eleven and seven. And the runner-up in the Suburban One American is Nick Senderlin, a sophomore, twenty-nine and three in the season. Just came back to District One and spent some of his freshman season in the Philadelphia Catholic League. Uh, you know, District One's glad to have him back, and I'm sure Wissahickon and Coach Staggs is glad that he's he's back with uh, with the program. So, look at the, the quarterfinals. Zimmerman will uh, looks like he'll face Jacob Trebui or Trebu from Oxford area and advance to the semifinals. Uh, Centerling will face Alex Murta from Dangtown West and advance to and Centerling will win advancing to the semifinals with a matchup with Nick Zimmerman. Windle looks like we'll get Anthony Yacovetti, a sophomore from Upper Marion with a 26 and 6 record. Picking Yacovetti here, um, I'm not really an upset. I just think he's he's had more matches, he's had more mad time, and you know Windle's only wrestled 18 total matches. Yacovetti's wrestled 32. Uh, you know. I just, just have a, a hunch. Upper Marion's on the way back up. Marcus Johnson, you know, they're not there yet, but, you know, compared to where they were when he took the program over, I'm really happy to see the good things he's doing there with a, a, a handful of qualifiers this year, some pretty talented kids, and uh, he's doing a nice job building that program back up and, and getting it back to where, uh, you know, where it should be. So uh, I'm picking Yacovetti here to make it in the semifinals. And then I have... Colin Devlin wrestling Matt Fair from Westchester Henderson Fair coming off the win in his pigtail match and Devlin with the win. So if we look in the semi, Zimmerman beats Senderling and Devlin beats Jacovetti to set up the Zimmerman Devlin final. And I'm going to give a nod to Devlin um, just f because he's been there before. He's performed this level and he's, he's won the big matches and he's put himself uh, to Hershey. And Zimmerman is one of those guys that's fighting to get there. And I do think he can and will do it this year. Uh, I'm just going to give a nod to Devlin here, but this is a match I think you can flip a coin and you know it, it, that could be how you decide the winner. It's going to be a close one. And it's going to be fun to see at that. Uh, looking at the consolation bracket after the, the cross brackets, Giacovetti look, run into Alex Murta from Downingtown West and I'm gonna go with Alex Murta here. This kid, you know, his junior seems not even around forever, and uh, just solid wrestler. Um, I'm gonna pick him to beat Yacovetti coming out of the wrestling all the way back from the loss in the quarterfinals, and then in the other uh, consolation semifinal, um, Brett Windle versus Nick Centerling, and Centerling getting the win there and putting himself into the third and fourth, fourth place match qualifying for regionals. And the Murta centerling match, I think Senderling wins. So your top six here goes Devlin from Upper Dublin, Zimmerman from Downingtown East, Senderling from Wissahickon, Murta from Downingtown West, Yacovetti from Upper Marion, and Windle from Coatesville. There's your top six, 138 pounds in a weight class that you know, probably will have one of the more exciting finals matches, in my opinion. Move on to 145 pounds, and you know here's a here's a weight class that lacks, I guess, like any kind of star power, any kind of guy that you, know, you can look at it, and they're gonna take control and seize control of this weight class, and and really uh, go and take it. So that's what kind of makes has the makings for a good weight class because there's gonna be a lot of guys battling it out for that first place. Like any one of the guys in the semis could could quite possibly be guys that you know make the make to the finals and win this uh, bracket. Uh, the one seed out of the Chessmont from Avon Grove, Jr. with a record 27 and 7 is Kevin Edwards. The two, the champ from the Suburban One American, is August Gershwin from Cheltenham, Jr. with a record 27 and 3. The three seed, Daniel Labus, sophomore from Westchester Rustin, 19 and 8 is his record on the season. And then uh, the from the American, the runner up, Ben Billings from Plymouth White Marsh, a senior with a record of 21 and 3. So, you know, moving into this bracket and looking at the quarters, uh, Kevin Edwards is going to hit Spencer Larson from Unionville, and uh, Edwards is going to get the win there and put himself into the semis. Uh, Colin McBride is going to get a senior, uh, I'm sorry, not get a, he's going to get a bye from being the third place in the chess mod and to that. Uh, quarterfinals against Ben Billings from Plymouth White Marsh and 
I think Billings going to get the win and put himself in the semis and then drop him down the bottom half of the bracket. Uh, Dale Burns from Kennett getting the win and in the, in the pigtail and uh, facing Daniel Labus or Labus and Labus going to get the win, put himself into the semis. And then Gavin Hale, the sophomore from downtown uh, West, coming out against August Gershwin, the junior from Cheltenham. And you know, Gershwin's going to get the win. Uh, you know, he's just a year older, uh, you know, a little bit more experience. I would tend to say West wrestled a tougher schedule than Cheltenham. However, you know, Gersh, you don't win, you don't, you don't win twenty-seven and lose three by you know uh, being uh, you know average. You know, you know Gershwin's definitely above average wrestler. I think he's gonna you win know, and put himself in the semis. So in the semis, you have Edwards versus Billings and Labus versus Gershwin. I have uh, Edwards beating Billings and and putting himself back in the finals as he was a, a week earlier. And I have Labus beating Gershwin to put himself in the finals in a rematch against. Uh, Kevin Edwards and I have Edwards winning it and winning the rematch. Labus is just he's just you know he's still young. He's not there yet. He's uh, he's tough as nails and he, there's some things he does very well. Having seen him wrestle this year, but he's just you know he's just almost there. He's not not quite yet uh, to be uh, you know taking that from from uh, Kevin Edwards. Looking down at the um, the consolation bracket. Uh, <clears throat> Gershwin will run into Colin McBride in the wrestle back, and you know he'll beat McBride and put himself in the consolation final, and then uh, Billings will wrestle uh, Gavin Hale, and in the wrestle back, and Billings will ultimately win that match and put him in a, in a match against. Uh, Gershwin to go or for third place, and I think Gershwin wins. And then rounding out your you know the, your top six looks something like Edwards from Avon Grove, Lebus from Westchester Ruston, Gershwin from Cheltenham, and uh, Billings from Plymouth White Marsh, and McBride from Coatesville in fifth, and Hale from Dangtown West in sixth. So there's your 145 pound weight class. Again, no no real hammers in that weight class, but a lot of guys that can go out and can scrap and can wrestle. And it's really anyone's match. I, again, I picked Edwards and Labus in the final, but it could very easily be Billings and, and Gershwin. Um, and Or any combination of those, or even some other guys can sleep in there. Call McBride, you can't sleep on him. He's real tough as nails kid from Coatesville. So you know, um, there's there's a lot of uh, a lot of consistent talent in this weight class. It's just not you know, there's no Wade Cummings, there's no Nick Zimmerman, there's no uh, you know Marco Di Battista, no no guy that's gonna go out and just take the weight class or have the opportunity to have the ability to go out and take the weight class. So uh, moving into 152 pounds, pound for pound, one of the best guys we have in the region, Chase Stevens. 1C Chessmont champion. He's a junior from Coachville, 31 and 1 on the season. His lone loss is when he bumped up to 160 in a dual meet with Exeter, and uh, you know it was a good move by his dad there putting him up. Uh, just get him some, just get him a tougher match. Uh, you know Chase Stevens is fun to watch because he goes out and he pins people, and he's good at it. And that's the, that's what's what's interesting. People like seeing that. People like guys that go out and pin people and make it exciting. They make it fun to watch. You know, and uh, you know Chase Stevens is no different. You know, pound for pound, one of the best wrestlers we have, as I said. So, the second seed from the American Conference or Suburban One American is Mason Novak. Novak, a freshman from Upper Dublin, with a record of twenty-five and eight. Three seed Jude McDowell, a senior from Dacton East, with a record of eleven and four. Jude missed a lot of the season with an apparent elbow injury. Just coming back. Definitely not looking himself, but he's getting back. He's getting better. You know, every time out, every every day, probably getting a little bit better. And uh, so, you know, he was runner up to Chessmont last week to Stevens, and uh, you know, he's gonna look to build upon that in his senior season. And the runner up from the Suburban One American is Mike Johnson, a junior from Norristown with a record of twenty two and nine. So, looking forward to the quarterfinals, Stevens 
wrestle Weston Frame from Westchester Henderson. Uh, you know he's gonna he's gonna uh, get the win there and get himself into the semis. Uh, Mike Johnson will see Giovanni Angelini from Downingtown West, and Johnson uh, I see winning that and put himself in the semis against Chase Stevens. Jude McDowell looks like he'll run into Zach Wakefield from Plymouth White Marsh. I feel he'll win that match, put himself in the semis, and in the final quarter final quarter final is uh, I have Andrew D. Bernardo from Westchester. He's a freshman with a record of 25 and four against Mason Novak, and I think D. Bernardo is going to win this and put himself into the semis. Uh, D. Bernardo uh, for a freshman, good looking freshman, uh, tough on top. You know, seen East wrestle in person twice this year. And both times, uh, very impressed. I walked away with his ability to ride on top, his ability to turn, and you know, freshman, 152 pounds. You don't see it too often, and very, uh, very welcoming. Uh, you know, he's got a bright future ahead of him. I see him being Novak here. And again, I, I'm gonna cite schedule on this. You know, Westchester East schedule is a little more difficult than than uh, Upper Dublin's, and. Uh, you know, it's um, he's getting better competition, and so as as a result, I feel that that's what's going to put him in position to get the win here. So looking at it's uh, three of four uh, Chessmont, three of the four Chessmont wrestlers in the semifinals here at 152 pounds. I see Chase Stevens beating Mike Johnson and June McDowell beating Andrew D Bernardo. Uh, set up a Stevens McDowell rematch from last week in the Chessmont final, and again I, I feel Stevens is going to win. Um, I, I, McDowell just one he's not healthy, and, and two he's just not on Stevens level. Stevens is just on, on a different level from everyone else in this weight class in this tournament. I'm looking forward to seeing Stevens at the regional level and beyond. Excuse me. Looking at the consolation bracket. Uh, D. Bernardo dropping down to the top half. We'll run into someone. Uh, my pick, Weston Frame. And again, I, he'll beat Weston Frame, put himself, make himself a regional qualifier as a freshman, put him in that consolation final. Uh, Mike Johnson will wrestle Mason Novak the, with a rematch of the section final last year, to, or last week, the conference final. And I see Mason Novak winning this one again and putting himself in the final against D. Bernardo. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say D. Bernardo beats Novak uh, two times in uh, in one day. And uh, you know, they're both freshmen. And I just think that, you know, schedule wins here. And I think D. Bernardo will beat him a second time. Uh, so then looking at your your uh, six, top six in this weight class, Stevens from Coatesville, McDowell from Downingtown East, D. Bernardo from Westchester East, and Novak from Upper Dublin, they're your four regional qualifiers, and uh, Mike Johnson, fifth place, and uh, Weston Frame, sixth place. Moving on to 160 pounds, and, hmm. excuse me, it's late at night here uh, as I'm doing this, and uh, uh, excuse that yawn for a second time, but anyway, uh, number one seed here, David Cox from Oxford, another guy that he gets votes and he he get you know, by the rankers, but no one talks about him. And I don't know why, but no one you know there's not a lot of buzz about David Cox. So he's the one seed, thirty one and one on the season as a junior. Two seed, the champion from the Suburban One American is Rich Maggio from Norristown, a sophomore with a record of twenty one and thirteen. Sitting in the three seed, the runner up from the chess amount a week ago, Alex Horn, down from one seventy to one sixty. Senior from East, Downtown East, record of 34 and 8 in the season, and the Sydney the four seed, the runner up from Suburban One American, a sophomore from Upper Moreland with a record of 10 and 14, Hunter Williams. Uh, so here's a another weight class where there's not a lot of quality depth coming from the Suburban One American, and it's gonna be one of those weight classes where you know this the chess mod's gonna swallow them up. So looking ahead to the quarters, uh, David Cox versus Joe Schaefer from Downingtown West. Cox didn't get the win, put himself in the semis. Lamberjack coming out of that by of the, of the um, pigtail. And I see him beating Hunter Williams from Upper Moreland and putting himself in the semis. He was a three, the third place guy from uh, the Chessmont last week. 
and then Alec Horn getting the win over Scott Burridge from Octorera, and Justin Cooper winning his pigtail to wrestle Rich Maggio, Maggio. and I'm going to go on, you know, and go as far as say that I think Justin Cooper uh, beats Rich Maggio, Maggio in this match and uh, makes it an all Chessmont semifinal. And, uh, you know, Cox versus Lamberjack, Cox, uh, Cox winning, and Horn versus Cooper. Horn wins to set up a rematch from last week in the Chessmont final with Cox winning again. Looking down to the consolation bracket, Cooper will drop down and wrestle Joe Schaefer from Downingtown West with Cooper getting the win and putting himself in that consolation final in a regional qualifying spot. And Lamberjack coming down and running into Scott Burridge from Octorera, Lamberjack winning, and I have Lamberjack beating Cooper for a Chessmont sweep of 160 pounds, Cox from Oxford, Horn from Downingtown East, Lamberjack from Westchester Ruston, and Cooper from Westchester East. Fifth and sixth, uh, fifth place Schaefer from Downingtown West, and Burridge from Octorera. I actually have uh, one through six all coming out of the Chessmont. And uh, I just feel that this weight class is Chessmont dominated. Just more talent coming out of that uh, out of that conference as opposed to the Suburban One American. Moving on to 170 pounds. Number one seed from the Chessmont, a junior with a record 35, Cole Zapf. And the two seed, the champion from Suburban One American, Tommy DeSisto from Plymouth White Marsh, a junior with a record of 23 and 6. Three seed, Caleb Subak, a senior with a record of 22 and 7 from Westchester East. The four being Mason Hall, a sophomore from Norristown with a record of 16 and 8. So, looking in to break down this bracket in the quarterfinals, Zap will hit Joseph Moran from Avon Grove in the, in the quarters with Zap getting the win there, put himself into that semifinal round. Mason Hall from Norristown will get the win over Ryan Sharpless from Octorera, who's a junior with a record of 17-6, and six. put himself against Zap in that semifinal in the upper half of the bracket. Coming down to the lower half of the bracket, Subak will run into Tim Davis from Oxford area and get the win, put himself in the semis. And... Brian Ken from Westchester Ruston, a junior with a record of 19 and 16, will run to get win to, to wrestle Tommy DeSisto, only to lose um, with DeSisto earn the spot into the semis. So your semis are Zap Hall and Subak versus DeSisto. Zap, I have Zap winning over Hall and Subak winning over DeSisto to set up a rematch from last week's Chessmont final uh, with Zap winning again, just like last week. I believe he won 9-3 over Subak in the chess mod final. Looking at the Wrestleback uh, bracket, the Sisto will drop down in the top half of the Constellation bracket and run into Ryan Sharpless from Octorera. I th the Sisto, I feel, wins there. And then Hall will run into Brian Kent with Brian Kent, I feel, getting the win. And then losing to the Sisto to take fourth place. So your one through six will look something like Zaf from Downingtown West, Subak from Westchester East, DeSisto from Plymouth White Marsh, Ken from Westchester Ruston, Hall from Norristown in fifth, and Sharpless from Octorera in sixth place. All right, moving on to 182 pounds. A weight class that... Um, Pretty has has good depth. Has a lot of a lot of solid wrestlers in it, uh, led by Costas Hatzapablidis from Westchester Ruston, returning state qualifier, champion of Chess Month this past week, and uh, owns a record. He's a senior with a record of thirty two and four. Uh, the two seed, the champion from Suburban One American from Upper Marion, a freshman uh, with a record of nineteen and fourteen, Mark Piccarello. The three seed is the runner-up from the Chessmont, Sean McBride from Coatesville. Another one of the Coatesville kids that is just you know uh, just a grinder. Just goes out and just wins matches and uh, you know fun to watch at that. Uh, and then the four seed is the runner-up from the American Scott Ori from Plymouth White Marsh, a sophomore with a record of thirteen and six. 
looking ahead to the semifinals, Hats with Letus run into Dylan Smallcomb from Unionville and, uh, you know, make his way into the semis with that match. Scott Ori will run into Braden Peck, a junior from Avangrove with a record of 23-10. And I think uh, Braden Peck will get the win here coming out of that pigtail and put himself into the semis against Hatsa Plavlidis. Uh, Sean McBride looks like he'll run into Mike Maynary from Westchester East, a junior with a record of 14 and 12. I have McBride winning there and getting himself to the semis. And then Brent Chikowski from Downtown East, matching up with Mark Pic Piccarello from Upper Marion in that quarterfinal. And I have the, the senior with a record of 26 and 15. Again, I'm going off record here. Um, can't say enough good things about what Upper Marion's doing. Piccarello is just a freshman going against a senior. I got Joukowsky with the win to set up a, a, a semifinal and all Chessmont semifinal. Hats Pavlidis will beat Peck, make his way to the final. McBride will beat Joukowsky and set up a rematch of last week's Chessmont final. I know it kind of sounds like a broken record here. But the reality is these, you know, these are the what I feel are the picks, and you know, it's, you know, some of them are, are you know, a lot of them are probably going to come to come to actual fruition. But uh, with that said, Hatsa Pavlidis will will again beat McBride and take first at districts, going in and you know, uh, have his sights set on getting back to Hershey and getting on the podium this year. Uh, looking at the wrestleback, Chikaski will drop down the top half of the wrestleback bracket. Looks like he'll run into. Scott Ori from Plymouth White Marsh. I have Joukowsky winning that match as well. Again, Ori just a sophomore, Joukowsky a senior. Uh, we go compare schedules, who's in this different competition, and, and you know better wins, and everything points to Joukowsky. Uh, down in the bottom half of the bracket, Peck will drop down and run into to likely Mike Maynary uh, from Westchester East, and I have Peck winning that only to lose to Chikowski from Downtown East. So your top six here at 182 pounds. Kostas Hatsapavlidis uh, from Westchester Ruston. If we're having the all-name team like we talked about with Coltrane Mosley Jones, uh, Kostas Hatsapavlidis would definitely be uh, a first teamer on the all-name team of District 1 wrestlers. Colin McBride, or Sean McBride, excuse me on that, uh, runner-up. Uh, Brent Chikowski as our third place from Downtown East, and Braden Peck from da or Avon Grove, apologies, uh, in fourth place, Scott Ori from Plymouth White Marsh in fifth, and Mike Maneri from Westchester East in sixth. Moving up to 195 pounds, and got some, again, some talented wrestlers here, and then that will vie to get to the finals. And again, one of the, one of the underrated guys in, in District 1 uh, will resides in this weight class, and I'll get to him in a second. The one seed, Chessmont champion from Westchester East, a senior with a record 25 and 8, is Eric Gassenmeyer. And um, the two seed, the champion from Spur 1 American, Patrick Walker from Upper Moreland, a senior, 27 and 2. Those guys and just you know again, all he does goes out and, and wins, and he's just underrated in doing it. And it, it's kind of good to not have a target on your back and be known as that guy. Uh, but he's not really gonna sneak up on anyone anymore. And so, uh, you know, we'll talk about the rest of the bracket here. Mike McGuire in the three seed position, runner up in the Chessmont. He's a junior, record 24 and 11 from Unionville. And then the runner up from the American is Henry Weinbreak from Upper Dublin, a senior with a record of 18 and 3. We look into this bracket, we look into the, to the quarterfinals. And we have Eric Gassenmeyer wrestling, Nick Sedell from Plymouth White Marsh. Gassenmeyer getting the win and advancing to the semifinals. Uh, Josh Walls getting the bye from Avon Grove to face off against Henry Weinbreak. I got Josh Walls from uh, Avon Grove getting the win here and putting himself in the semis against Gass and Meyer. Uh, down in the bottom half of the championship bracket, Brian Fennell, talented freshman, 25 and 7 from Wissahickon, coming out and uh, winning to and having the opportunity to compete against Michael McGuire from Unionville in the quarterfinals. Uh, but I have Michael McGuire winning there and advancing the, to the semis. 
uh, Alex Ramondo with the win in his pigtail to come out to wrestle Patrick Walker. Patrick Walker will win that and go into the into the semis and set up the semis matchups of Gasmeyer versus Walls and McGuire versus Walker. I have um, Gasmeyer beating Walls and Walker beating McGuire and Walker beating Gasmeyer in the final. Uh, I just think that Patrick Walker is you know has loads of talent and uh, he's poised to make a run here. And right now, no one's talking about him. But I think after this weekend, people will still start coming in conversation at 195. Just my, my humble opinion. Looking down to the Russell back bracket, McGuire will drop down and run into Henry Weinbreak. I feel Weinbreak beats him there and, and advances to regionals. Uh, and we'll talk about what he does in the Constellation final in a second. Uh, Walls will drop down and run into Brian Fennell from Wissahickon and feel uh, the freshman Brian Fennell will uh, will win this match. I know he's a tough kid. I saw an opportunity to see him early in the year, and although he didn't win the match, I saw him wrestling, lots of talent. Looks like he's kind of put it together. You know, I didn't believe I saw him like his first match ever in high school. So, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot, large learning curve as a freshman, especially at 195 pounds. To win, go 25 and seven, the, the kid's doing something right. My hat's off to him. So uh, I have Winebreak beating Fennel for third place. So your top four, or top six looks like this. Walker, Gasmeyer, Winebreak, Fennel, uh, McGuire, and um, Walls um, uh, from Avon Grove. Rounds out your top six. So here you see in this weight class, you know, I have three of the four from the Suburban One American. So just talking about that change in depth, you know, Suburban One American is not very large in number wise, but they have some depth here and a depth of talent that is. And they didn't, uh, you know, tough kids. And you see here they take three of four. You know, it's been all Chessmon up to this point in most of the brackets, but you know, here's one where, you know, a Suburban One American gets back a little bit. So moving on to 220 pounds, but close on to the last two here, and at least I'll give my prediction of who I think wins a team title. Uh, coming off the upset of Isaiah Spriggs, Owen Morris from Downingtown East gets the, the one seed. He's a senior with a record of 26 and 12. Two seed is Noah Stribney from Upper Mary. He's a senior with a record of 19 and 5. Three seed, Isaiah Spriggs, as I talked about, one of the top rated 220 pounders in the region, getting upset in the finals by Morris. He's a senior from Westchester, Russell, with a record of 30 and 6. And the four seed, Keegan Hannigan from from Moreland Jr., with a record of 10 and 10. So, looking at the quarterfinals here, Owen Morris looks like he'll run into Zach Davis from Oxford area. And, and Morris winning, getting into the semis. Uh, Jordan Wise, the three seed, or the, the, for the third place finisher from the Chessmont from Coatesville, coming out against Keegan Hannigan. I had Jordan Wise winning here and moving into the semifinals, knocking off the four seed. Looking down at the bottom half of the bracket, Isaiah Spriggs from Westchester Ruston with the win over JJ Onyake from Norristown, put himself in the semifinals, and Brian Castaneda advancing from the pigtail only to lose to Stribney from Upper Marion. So your four semifinalists are Morris from East, Wise from Coatesville, Spriggs from Westchester Ruston, and Stribney from Upper Marion. I have Morris beating Wise, and I have Spriggs beating Stribney, setting up a rematch from last week's Chessmont final. This time Spriggs isn't going to get the better of them. I think Spriggs is definitely going to uh, get the win here. Won't lose two weeks in a row. Tough kid. Looking at the Constellation bracket, Stribney will come down the top half of the Constellation bracket. He'll run into Zach Davis from Oxford area. Stribney, I think, will win and, and get his uh, punches ticket to uh, regionals, making his coach Marcus Johnson very happy. And Castaneda will advance to wrestle uh, Jordan Wise only to have Wise beat him and get into that third and fourth place match. I think Jordan Wise beats Noah Stribney from Upper Mary to take third place. So your top six in that 220 pounds in the, in the central is Spriggs from Westchester, Ruston, Morris from Downingtown East, Wise from Coatesville, and Stribney from Upper Marion. Um, 
fifth place is Castaneda from Kennet, and sixth place is Davis from Oxford area. So again, another weight class dominated by the chess mob. So moving on to the 285 pound weight class here in the AAA, District 1 AAA Central Tournament. Uh, the one seed, again, another guy. I, I, I like these guys. These guys have flown under the radar all season. Vince Walls from Avon Grove, a senior with a record of 30 and two. Again, great senior campaigns, and he's going to sneak up on some people. Champion of Chessmont last week uh, is the one seed, the two seed from Plymouth White Marsh, the senior Quincy Williams. Uh, has a record of 24 and 4. From the Chessmont in the three, Nick Garvey from Sun Valley, a senior with a record of 21 and 8. And from Upper Moreland, a sophomore with a record of 10 and 9, the runner up in the, the Super One American is Ryan Corral. Those are your four seeded wrestlers. Let's look into the quarterfinal, possible quarterfinal matchups. We have uh, Walls against Bachelary from Unionville. Jack Bachelary, and I apologize if I say that incorrectly. Uh, I apologize if I say anyone's name incorrectly. Uh, you know, I don't know, sometimes they're interesting names, and they're not as easy as they look to announce. So no, uh, I don't intend to butcher them on purpose. Uh, Chad Giles from Downingtown West gets a bye. Uh, only 11 make the bracket, uh, so there's an extra gap. Uh, and he'll take on Ryan Corral, and I have Giles winning that. Again, Corral only wrestling 19 matches on the year. Sophomore wrestling the senior, Giles from Downingtown West, who's battle-tested. I'm going with Giles here to uh, create a matchup with Walls in the semifinals. Nick Garvey, looks like he'll get Aiden Jeter from Coatesville. Uh, but, it, you know, he, he will, that's a match... Uh, Garvey will win and put himself in the semis. And then Quincy Williams wrestling Brendan McGinley, a junior from Downingtown East, 23 and 16 in the season. Uh, albeit McGinley's tough, I think Quincy Williams is a little bit tougher. Williams is going to punch that ticket to the semis. So looking at our our four semifinalists, Walls from Avon Grove, Giles from Downingtown West, Garvey from Sun Valley, and Williams from Plymouth White Marsh. I have Walls beating Giles and Williams beating Garvey. And then I have Walls beating Williams in the finals. So Avon Grove getting the champ there at 285 over Williams from Plymouth White Marsh. Looking at the consolation bracket, Garvey drops down to the top half. Looks like uh, I have him wrestling against Jack Bat Bachelary from uh, Unionville. Garvey winning that, getting into that 3 and 4 match. And then McGinley and Giles wrestling that East West matchup, big rivalry with Giles winning again, as he did last week, to put himself in that three and four match against Garvey, and Giles winning that to take third. So your top six looks like this. Walls from Avon Grove, Williams from Plymouth White Marsh, Giles from Downtown West, Garvey from Sun Valley, McGinley from Downtown East, and Bachelary from, uh, sorry, Unionville. So there you have it. There are the brackets. As best I could do, uh, you know, I just feel that top to bottom, the chess mod has more depth, uh, more quality depth as well. And it, it shows in a lot of these brackets, in, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, honestly, I think it's going to show on the mats on Saturday. Uh, you know, but again, I, I hope I'm pleasantly surprised. Uh, you know, I always enjoy a good upset. So, you know, what I say and doesn't it doesn't uh, affect me if I'm wrong and I expect to hear it from you the fans that do watch this if I am wrong uh, if you think I'm wrong like I said this is meant to create some more conversation on the forum have a little fun with it uh, you know just drum up some like I said uh, some good banter because uh, there's never any bad banter on that forum you know there's nothing but great posts from everyone so looking ahead I want to just predict the uh, the winner of the central tournament I just think that they have a lot of bullets in the gun. I think Downingtown East is gonna is gonna win this tournament. It's a safe bet. I'm not gonna go out on a limb and pick some random pick just to say I uh, you know I, I told you so. Now Downingtown East is a safe pick. Downingtown East is probably gonna win this, uh, barring some huge uh, interesting upsets. Uh, Downingtown West, Westchester, Rust, and they're gonna be right in the mix for for uh, two three. Uh, Plymouth White Marsh, Norristown, uh, depends how things go, if things can go more their way, you know, who knows where they'll be sitting at and when the smoke clears on uh, on Saturday evening at Oxford. But, uh, you know, as always, uh, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, 
thanks for all the positive feedback. It, it really meant a lot to Mike and I to go to different gyms this year and 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 have you know different parents come up and grandparents and say you know that, that was uh, great what we we're doing. And you know for for us it's just one more thing we can provide to the wrestling community, uh, the passionate fan base that you know comes out and supports in droves and. You know, people say wrestling is dying, but uh, you know, personally, Mike and I, firsthand, a lot of, a lot of gyms full this year to see matches wrestled, a lot of full laps, a lot of JV matches being wrestled. So it's good to see numbers up, and you know, we're glad it's appreciated what we're doing, and you know, we're doing it to grow the sport, publicize the sport as much as possible. So with that said, again, tune into the other previews. We're breaking them up into three different ones instead of doing one long broadcast. And, uh, you know, I hope you enjoy them and I hope, uh, you know, you get on the forum and make some comments, uh, good, bad, and different. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If you want to, you know, lash out and tell me, please feel free to. It's a free country, uh, you know, and uh, I look forward to hearing from, from you, the fans. Again, thank you for this opportunity. This is Joe Youngblood signing off. Thank you. Good night.